Los Angeles is currently undergoing a playground battle after one city council member has uh, proposed a law that would ban single individuals without children from attending local playgrounds. Now, these are playgrounds that are paid with taxpayer money, of course. They're public playgrounds. But the concern here is that there's a lot of shady behavior happening with individuals who are not at these playgrounds with children, and so maybe they should be banned from the area. Yeah, but maybe they don't go with a child, but by the time they leave, they have a child. That's a good point. I wonder if they've considered that. <laughs> now, Mitch O'Farrell, a city councilman, suggested the ban last month as a way to protect children from, quote, creepy behavior. He cited drug dealing and other disturbing behavior in or near playgrounds. Now, the law would bar adults unaccompanied by children from entering the playgrounds. Okay, the council yeah. is due to debate this proposal in coming weeks. Look, I, I joke. I understand that obviously there's kidnappings and worries about inappropriate behavior, talking to the kids or doing something weird with the kids. Obviously, that's important, but that's not does, doesn't make it open and shut that everybody who doesn't have a kid should be banned from playgrounds. Definitely. So I think that first of all, a lot of people are upset about this proposal. It has not been voted on yet. Uh, as I mentioned, they are going to debate it in coming weeks, and we'll see how it goes. But the reason why I bring this up is because it's not unique to Los Angeles. There are other cities throughout the United States that have proposed similar ideas. Some cities have already enacted similar ideas. And so there are problems with it, especially when you consider that there are tons of adults who are not pedophiles, they're not drug dealers, they're not perverts. And so you might ask, okay, well then why would they want to be near a playground like that doesn't make any sense young at heart well here's here's something that I didn't consider so first of all uh, the park that I go to has a playground and the area that I usually take Charlie to so he can play and I can work out is right next to the playground like yeah. I'm very close to it and so under this type of law My I would the same I would be in trouble right? there's a, like those workout machines or whatever they're right next to it they're not fenced off in a different area they're part of the same that's area. true that's true and also kids aren't using those machines I didn't even consider this. Uh, a lot of adults who have like back issues actually go to the playground because it has like monkey bars where you can stretch and you can like do whatever to stretch out your back. And I don't have that that problem yet, and so I didn't even consider that perspective. But there are yeah. a lot of adults that are like, "What the hell? I don't go there to do anything shady. I'm just going there. Let's say I want to eat my lunch nearby, or I want to use the monkey bars, whatever it is. Why am I being considered a potential threat to these kids That's when I've true. done nothing wrong. I apologize for smiling. I'm just so proud of us for Slippery Slope there. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> anyway, yeah, and look, everybody understands that if you're a parent, like, yeah, you're gonna be, you're gonna be worried about, about creeps and stuff like that, and you hear stories about kidnappings, and certainly those things do happen, and so you're gonna be scared. And so I think a lot of people are gonna be okay with this, because they're gonna think, okay, so we're only taking away a little right. Mm -hmm. What do they really need to be there for? They can go somewhere else. And not everything needs to devolve into a slippery slope argument, but being single does not mean that you are morally inferior to people with kids or to married people or whatever. Yeah. Your life is already harder in a bunch of ways. You don't get all sorts of tax breaks. Can't we at least go to parks that we're paying for? Yeah, I know, and that's that's another thing. Look, we pay for all sorts of things that we don't benefit from um, personally, right? Whether it be public schools for a lot of people or... Um, Social Security for the vast majority of young people who might not have Social Security when they're older. Like, there's all sorts of things, right? But in this hmm. case, there's no reason why we automatically assume that someone is a bad person and they shouldn't be at a playground. Like, there should be some sort of security there. If you're really concerned about this issue, which, by the way, I think that it's a legitimate concern based on some experiences I've had at the park before, right? Yeah. Sometimes there is crime going on at the park. But very rarely do you see the city allocate funds for certain security measures to ensure that you do protect people. Just outright banning people is not the way to go. I think the best way to do it is to have security measures in place, and maybe that's hiring a security guard or something like that. If you like the stories we tell on The Young Turks, there's a lot more personal stories on a show called Old School. You get that by becoming a member. TYTnetwork.com slash join.